Hey, what's up guys? It's that very special time again where we take a look at another Gundam Converge set. You guys know I love the Gundam Converge series. They're these awesome little figures. They're not really articulated, but they're really interesting representations of our favorite mobile suits. This would be set number 22, which includes the final battle specifications of the RX-782 Gundam, the G3 Gundam, the original Jim, the Buster Gundam, the Zakutu FZ Fritz Helm type, the Gelgoog J, and the Gelgoog J Shin Matsunaga version. So a lot of really awesome mobile suits in this set. I'm really looking forward to this one. And I don't know, what can I say? But uh, if you guys don't like Gundam Converge, I guess you better just unsub because you're not any friend of mine. So right off the bat, looks like we've got two of the Final Battle Gundams, two G3s, two Jims, only one Zaku 2 FZ, which I'm perfectly fine with because as you guys may know, as I've said many times, the Zaku 2 FZ, definitely my least favorite version of the Zaku 2. All that said, in Converge, it is pretty cool looking, I will say. Only one Buster Gundam, which is sad because I do love the Buster Gundam, and then both one of each version of the Gelgoog J, which makes sense, but wouldn't have expected to get two of each of those. But anyway, some really awesome selections for this set, and especially having two gyms, if you wanted to have like your Gundam flanked by two gyms behind it, it works out pretty well to have two of those in the box, which is pretty cool. And is it just me, or is our number 260 G3 Gundam here? Take a closer look at that. Those look like different colors, even though it's like same set, same figure. This one definitely looks like a little bit more bluish, and this one looks a little bit more purplish. The color of that box is definitely different, right? Oh, weird, even the front of the box looks slightly different. I don't know if that's intentional or it's just like a printing error that, you know, these are just from a different batch. This one was from one batch of printing and then this one from a different batch of printing where the color got thrown off a little bit. Very weird, interesting. Hmm. Normally in a review video like this, I would only open one of these, but I gotta open both of these to see if they end up being like the actual figure is a different color as well. But we'll get to that in just a second. I do like to go in numerical order. So that means we need to start off here with the Gundam. These ones look totally the same. So I can just open one of these. But anyway, basically this is just gonna be your ARC-782 with double hyper bazookas there. I don't know if this is gonna come with anything else. Oh, it does. So it's got the shield on the back there, it looks like. Last shooting is something you're able to do with this. So that means it's gonna come with a beam rifle as well. So there's a lot of stuff in here it would appear. Let's see. That looks really cool though. Anyway, so I guess you could make one with the double bazookas and then one in the last shooting pose, which is pretty cool. So it's good to have two. Well, let's see anyway. Here's our chewing gum, of course. Terrible. And all right, there's the bazookas. And here's everything else. Let's go ahead and get this all put together here. And first off, just want to take a look at the Gundam itself. A couple things to point out. Number one, you'll notice that it's in the anime colors. So that means the white is actually that kind of slightly green, kind of tinted white. And also the mold of this is quite interesting. It definitely looks like they went for like an anime style uh, design for this, which looks really good, I gotta say. Unfortunately, like the little mouth vents there are printed a little bit off. You can see it looks like his mustache is a little bit crooked there because they got printed just a little bit off to the side. That's unfortunate, but I guess we could use this one for our uh, final battle version, our last shooting version. And on that note, you do have a part for the arm here, for replacing the arm with the damaged, destroyed version of that, or where it's just missing the arm. And unfortunately, no beam rifle. So if we would have taken a look at the fine print here, it said for you need the beam rifle from either the G3 Gundam or the Jim. So one of your other uh, figures in this set, you can take the beam rifle from that and use that for your lashing version. So we can not make that with only this set, but you need to combine parts. As for the shield, this can be plugged. Well, I guess I better change the arm first. As for the shield, it can be plugged onto the side of the arm like normal, like that, but you can also plug it onto the back skirt using this uh, little adapter piece that plugs right there into the back. And while we're here, I'll just show you guys some of the detail up underneath the feet and the backpack there also very nice. But anyway, that plugs onto there and then you can plug your shield onto the back here for storage. And then we've got our two hyper bazookas, which again are very nicely detailed. Just need a little bit of paint to make them more color accurate. And all the, the entire kit in general, you know, going in and detailing these uh, can definitely help a lot. This one, especially once you get this detailed up and then we'll put some water slide decals on this, it's gonna look awesome. So once we get these in hand, you have to take the handle off, feed the handle up from beneath and then plug it into the bazooka here. And we'll get him stood on the base as well. And there we go. Here is how it's gonna look. And it's awesome. I love that, love the RX-782. Now, like I said, these aren't really meant to be articulated, but there is some articulation in them. So if you wanted to have 
one look like it's firing like that or both I guess you could do that but again really love the molding on this one and just the colors of it for the kind of anime style coloring of it, it looks fantastic, so really happy with that. Okay, so then moving on to uh, the G3 gun, I'm gonna be basically the same mold as far as I would imagine here on that, just gonna be in different colors. And on the back here, this is saying that you can create the last shooting pose or the double bazooka pose just using parts from the Gundam or the gym. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this opened up and see if these two are of the same color or not. All right, taking a look at the figures themselves, they look exactly the same. So it looks like it's just the artwork on the front got printed probably again in two different batches so the color just came out slightly different all right all put together here is how it's gonna look those yellow eyes look very cool not really a big fan of the color and font of the g3 logo printed on the shield there kind of would have liked if that was at least i think white would have looked better but i don't know if maybe black is accurate to like the official artwork for the g3 gundam but the colors look great there's the beam rifle which you can use with your other gundam if you prefer you do also have the shield adapter for plugging the shield onto the back skirt if you wanted to put that there and you do also have the damaged arm shoulder part for recreating the uh, last shooting pose if you want to do that with this one but honestly it doesn't really make that much sense for the g3 gun in, in my opinion i'll just keep this as it is i think like this it looks nice all the details the same again will look nicer with some more markings and some detailing done on it but as it is in that gray it does look really good and here's just for a comparison next to the original color scheme i think the two of those look great but if we're doing classic gundam we gotta have classic gym here as well so the shield actually looks the same so it might be the same part basically for the shield it's got the beam spray gun and that wonderful clear part there for the visor looks very nice very plain design obviously with it being just the gym and here you can give it the bazooka if you wanted to give one of your bazookas from the gundam to this i don't think that is included so it looks like that's probably not going to be in here let's go ahead and pop it open see i'd imagine that's just borrowed from the gundam and it looks like that is the case because we just got the figure the shield the beam spray gun and the base all right here he is minus the shield because there is something that i want to show you guys about the shield here really quick if we take a look at this the design is exactly the same as what we've got for the gundam and the color is even the same being in that slightly minty white kind of color but the back is different the back doesn't have the plug for plugging this onto the arm the same way that the shield for the gundam does the plug is different on this version so that'll plug onto there and the other thing that you'll notice is that this white is just in a plain white or actually even like a kind of lavender tinted white not that green minty white so interesting that this is not in the anime colors as the gyms typically in that same kind of minty white color a little bit of painting could definitely bring out a lot of detail here on the back with it being a lot of white there but for just the classic gym it does look very nice, I gotta say. And again, the detail up underneath the clear part there for the visor looks great. The gunmetal there for the hands and then the beam spray gun looks great. So for myself, as someone who's not really that much of a fan of the original gym, I gotta say it is great in converged form, of course. But moving on to something completely in a different direction from Gundam Seed here is the Buster Gundam. A fan favorite and for good reason, because it's an awesome design. This one looks like you can do some cool stuff with it as well, having the two weapons side by side or connected together either to the left side or to the right side. So as you would expect like a model kit of it to do, I wouldn't necessarily expect the Converge figure to be able to do that, but the fact that it can, I gotta say, is pretty cool. And just to double check, there's no fine print on this. That means that hopefully everything that we see on here is actually included in this set. But let's go ahead and pop it open and find out. So here's everything and even some alternate parts there for like the sub arm on the front. It looks like for whether you want to have the weapons combined to either the left side or to the right side, you use a different sub arm there for that. But there's our weapons and the main body and everything. All right here it is so far with just the weapons stowed up on the back that v fin it looks awesome very long exaggerated always the buster gundam's always reminded me of a rabbit for some reason with that v fin i don't know it just kind of looks like rabbit ears or something but it looks very cool there's your weapons there on the back those have very nice coloring on them with the green and the gunmetal on there so you can stow them on the back by just plugging them onto the backpack like so and these other parts are not sub arms actually alternate parts for the arms themselves so you kind of have to take this apart the lower arm the upper arm and the shoulder are three separate parts so it's basically the upper arm that you're going to replace you're going to plug your new one into there and then plug your lower arm back onto that and as you can see what that gives you is the ability to have the arm out to the side rather than straight down so if you wanted to have the gun up underneath here and you can plug that into the hand 
and that's how that's gonna look like that on one side so that's just on the one side and again if you want to just combine them together they should just trying to remember how the Buster Gundam goes you just combine them together like that and you got this extremely ridiculously long gun that of course you can't do a two-handed grip on just because of the nature of this figure but if we have them separate there we go that's looking pretty cool, I gotta say, with both of those. And of course you can kind of adjust the angle of those, having it a little bit more pointed up or down if you wanted to have them holding both, but have them holding like in like a resting position, something like that you can do. So very cool, I gotta say. Love the Buster Gundam and this version of it is looking very nice. But all right, for you Xeon fans, now we can finally get into some mono eyes with this set with the Zakutu FZ Fritz helm type. So that I think just refers to the helmet. It's got that different style head, the helmet style head on there, which if I remember correctly, past versions of this in converged form had came with the option to make both. If I remember correctly, I'm sure I have another Zakutu FZ in converge form and I think it has multiple options for it or that or I'm thinking of the gear doggo maybe. So anyway there it is with the heat hawk or the machine gun you'll have some options here with this one as far as the weapons are concerned which does seem to be a bit of a theme with this set many weapon options in this one more so than normal but there's your contents pretty simple let's go ahead and get it put together and here he is and a uh, man I gotta say like usual Gundam Converge just has a way of taking mobile suit designs that I don't really particularly like all that much. This one in the gym is another good example of that, but it happens pretty much with every box. There's always one that I'm not that into, but then like actually getting the figure in hand and seeing how the figure looks, I really like it. And that's definitely the case with this one. Here it is with the machine gun. I wanted to leave it off the base for a minute to show you guys this really nice detail that it has up underneath the feet as well. They all have full detail under the feet, but this one especially looks really good. But all around, it looks very nice, and I really like it. Like with most of the Monowai Converge figures, you can rotate the Monowai by just popping off the helmet, and you just kind of have to manually turn the eye there, put the helmet back on, and there you go. You can have it pointed off to the side like that. You can turn the head a little bit as well. And if you wanted to have the Heat Hawk, you just swap out the entire hand because the Heat Hawk is just molded, painted together on here. With that so I do kind of wish we had two of these now I mentioned earlier that I don't mind not only having one but because it has options of the heat hawk and the machine gun I kind of wish I had two so I could have one of each but I do really like the heat hawk with this so I think I'll just stick with this I mentioned I don't really like the Zaku 2 FZ one of the reasons is because I just don't really like this machine gun design for one that's one of the reasons but so I think I'll stick with the heat hawk because that looks really great except for the fact that it doesn't have an empty space there between like the main body of the axe and that cord there where it's supposed to be like an empty space but I'm willing to live with that I think. Moving on then to the Gelgoog J or the Gelgoog Jaeger, a design that I love. It's a really nice HG kit despite it being pretty old and you know honestly I guess objectively not that nice but it's a pretty good looking kit and it's a really awesome design so I'm a big fan of Gelgoogs in any shape or flavor but this one is definitely one that I like quite a bit. It's got the body there, the rifle, the antenna, the base and then our second bag here has the stabilizers and backpack parts there. All right and here it is looking very cool. The head looks great and once again the mono eye you can turn so I went ahead and just turned that to the side a little bit. The mono eye itself is I wish it was a little bit brighter kind of metallic pink in there because it is a little bit kind of harder to see with it being kind of a little bit dark up in there. The rifle itself looks awesome. The backpack and the details going around here on the back looks great. This is going to look really good once it's all like detailed up and you have some marking decals and some of these like larger spaces. It's going to look really nice. I wish it came with a shield. I don't remember if the Gelgoog J uh, HG kit comes with a shield or not, though I just wish that it did, but it's a small thing. Overall, the kit looks great. The details and the colors and everything on it look really, really nice. And that means that we're down to our last one here, which is the Shin Matsunaga's color version of that, which looks like we got some printing there on the shoulder for the Shin Matsunaga logo. The rifle, I believe, is gonna be the same, and so there's nothing gonna be different about the actual figure itself. It's just gonna be the colors, and it's just gonna have that different printing on there. And yeah, that looks to be the case. Let's go ahead and get this one put together too. All right, here's the White Wolf, looking very cool. So my printing got a little messed up here, that uh, gray paint there for this vernier up there on the shoulder, and that's fine. But the printing over here on this side of the logo does look great, of course. wouldn't If you had to put that on as a waterside decal, 
obviously those aren't the easiest water slides to put on the full wraparound lines like that so kind of nice to have that pre-printed on there for you but again the mono eye can move the arm can move i guess if you wanted to do like a shooting pose or something but really great detail on there with this one being mostly white of course going in and doing a little bit of panel line wash on that painting in a couple of these decals gonna look really nice the antenna on the backpack is a little bent there on mine you can straighten that out with just a little bit of warm water or something but looks fantastic love the gelgoog and especially love the gelgoog j as well but that is gonna be it for this set guys volume 22 is all wrapped up what did you think of it which one is your favorite one or ones i don't know which ones from this set are some of your favorites i gotta say i think i just like the first one the gundam the rx782 with the double bazookas is pretty awesome i gotta say but there's a lot of really great ones in this set honestly the zaku 2 fz i was expecting to be my least favorite but i really do like it so definitely some really great ones to choose from and great ones to add to the collection which is certainly growing some people asking when i do these videos they say they want to see my full collection i'm sorry to say guys unfortunately I, I keep all my collection in the boxes for now i still don't have like a good proper like display for all my converge figures of which i have very many so someday it would be great to have like a proper could display case with like all the converge figures in there i just don't have that so if you're wanting to see that i'm sorry to say i just can't show you guys even if i wanted to they're just all in boxes but thanks for checking out the video. As always, guys, if you want to check out all the Gundam stuff we have at USA Gundam Store, the link will be down in the video description. You guys can check that out. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to also like the video or subscribe to see more, you can do that. I would greatly appreciate it. But until next time, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.